For the past 7 days, I've been grinding controller all in preparation for the PS Cup at the end of the week. My goal is to learn how to play controller so I can play and qualify for the PS Cup finals and get my first console earnings. Starting off with the first day, I just bought a PS5 and it came with a brand new PS5 controller, so the first thing I did was hook it up to my PC and start trying to build. I haven't played controller since chapter 1 on PS4 so I was absolutely terrible. I couldn't 90, side jump, or even double edit. So I talked to my friend Darcy and he helped me set up some binds for controller. I put together an entire routine for myself to follow every day so that I can improve my mechanics, aim, and fighting, but for the first day I couldn't even begin to do those things. I was so trash that all I could do was sit in a 1v1 map by myself and try to learn how to build. I messed around with my sensitivities and some of my binds for a while until I found ones that I was comfortable with. I've actually heard sensitivity is much more important on controller than it is for keyboard so I copied some different pro sensitivities and these are the settings that I ended on. So now, with the brand new binds and brand new sensitivity, I got back into trying to learn how to build and eventually into some 1v1s. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even want to show these clips because of how bad I was. Everything was lacking. I couldn't build or edit, obviously, but I honestly couldn't even aim. I thought aim assist was supposed to be OP. The most underrated thing about keyboard is how easy it is to pull out each weapon. On controller, I was so lost trying to switch weapons that I kept shooting people with my grapple. Away. Day 2 was the first day that I did my training routine that I put together. I'll show exactly what I did for my routine this once, but for the rest of the days you can just assume that I did this whole thing because this is how I started every day, all the way to the end of the challenge. I started off with some specific build sequences like this ramp tunnel here, and some build and edit combos like double edits and eventually triple edits by the end of the challenge. I was also trying to free build, but as you can see, I didn't actually really know how to build all that well, so my free builds kind of look like I'm just spamming every single build piece. After that, I played some PG fills against some drones and well... At least I was killing them. I was trying to get a little more used to swapping my weapons and stuff, but the moment I went against anyone remotely decent, I just started getting put down. Which, well, could have been a good opportunity to practice against someone decent, but as a very egotistical and prideful person, one dance was all it took to set me off. You know I had to do that kid crazy on keyboard real quick. Now back to controller. After some demotivating 1v1s, I hopped back into Raiders mechanics training map to practice some building, but this time I tried doing it on a slower speed so I could do some things that I was struggling to do on normal speed. Day 3 was just a repeat of day 2. I hopped on, did my builds and edits, hopped into some 1v1s where I either killed some absolute drones or got smacked so hard I lost all motivation and will to live, and don't forget the part where I hop on keyboard real quick to smack them up in revenge. This time though, after getting smacked up, I decided to hop into speed realistics. I thought since I'm not ready for a real match yet, this will be a good starting point for trying to use multiple guns, learn how to heal, and how to box fight, and other in-game skills. It was actually the perfect map to practice all the stuff that I would have had to painfully learn in-game. Since I had never box fought, had to heal, or play defensively, it got me used to a bunch of things that I hadn't been practicing. I even learned not to throw minis at the opponent. Well, almost. I highly recommend the map if you're trying to practice some in-game fights. Code for the map I use will be in the description. After that, I wrapped up the day again with some slow-mo free building. I also tried some fast motion free building, but well, if I can't build on normal speed, what did I think was going to happen on a faster speed? Either way, wrapping up day 3, I'm anxious about how I'm possibly going to do in a PlayStation tournament at the end of the week. Day 4 is when I really feel like I started to feel the improvement. I started off the day with the same building and editing routine that I've been doing, and then hopped into some 1v1s. Instead of getting smacked up though, I felt like I was actually getting some decent kills. Since my confidence was up from smacking some kids in speed reels, I decided to challenge my friend and duo Leone to a 1v1. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. Even though I got absolutely pooped on, I felt like I could actually hold my own a little bit. I also decided that this 1v1 was a good way to measure my improvement at the end of the week. So I wrote down the score to see if I could get a better score by the end of the week. I wrapped up this day by going into the mechanics training map and doing some of the crosshair placement drills. I feel like the hardest thing for me to master on controller is the stick movement, especially on builds and edits since I don't get aim assist for that. Finally, I hopped into some aim duels because I thought my aim could use some work, but to be honest, it was really easy. It didn't even feel like I was aiming, I just kinda let it aim for me. Moving out to day 5, I felt like this was finally the day to hop into some ranked and try out some real games. Of course, first I hopped into my building and editing routine, which I had progressively been getting better at over the course of the last couple days, before I actually hopped into ranked. I decided to warm up my fighting with some more speed realistics. After I dumpstered on some kids, I was feeling confident to hop into a game and well, here's how it went. Fuck! 
Although I did not end up getting a good game, I think the main problem with practicing in-game is the downtime between games if you die. Instead of like in creative, where I make a mistake and instantly respawn, real games punish you by sending you back to the lobby and making you wait in the queue again. And also, even within the games, there's way more time where you're just farming and looting rather than fighting. To finish off this day, I hopped back into the mechanics training map and just pieced up some of the bots. I did this because I noticed one of my biggest problems fighting currently is that I just 50-50 everyone instead of actually trying to take a good peek. To work on that some more, at the end of the day, I hopped into a peace control map and practiced hitting the bots from behind good angles. On day 6, my last day before the day of reckoning, I started off with my routine as always and then instantly hopped into some 1v1s. I actually felt really good for the first time and had some confidence fighting against decent players. I tried out Zone Wars next to practice some high intensity situations and, well, I found it's exactly what I needed. Whenever I got into a situation where I needed to do something quickly under pressure, it's like I completely forgot all my binds and started from day one again. Also, keeping track of multiple people at the same time was something I wasn't used to at all, so multiple repetitions of that actually made my awareness much better on controller. Again, all the maps I'm using I highly recommend and they'll all be in the description. One thing that really caught me off guard about switching inputs is how much of the game is on autopilot for me when I'm on keyboard. When I'm playing, I can devote all my mental resources to my major decisions where on controller I have to constantly think about every little thing like how to swap my inventory items or even how to mark something. Day 6 though is when I finally felt like I was getting the hang of things. My mechanics and aim felt like they were finally coming together into some coherency where I could actually make some plays that look fluid. I was still a little nervous for tomorrow where I have to 1v1 Leone again and play the PlayStation Cup, but I was definitely more confident than I was at the start of the challenge. To wrap this day up, again, I did some peace control drills as well as practice editing and building in slow motion. Finally, the day had come. Day 7. First off, let's compare some building and editing from the beginning to now. As you can see, the improvement has been insane. While I don't think I'm fantastic on controller, I went from someone who couldn't move to someone that actually can put up a decent fight in most situations. If I were to continue grinding controller, I would definitely pick up some battles because since I don't play claw, I'm still super stiff because when I jump, I have to take my thumb off the stick. I started off this day as normal with my building and editing routine, and then I hopped into speed reels. Now that I was properly warmed up, it was time for my rematch, and well, I still kinda got smacked, but at least this time I did some smacking back. This 1v1 actually gave me a spark of hope because it was actually quantifiable evidence of my improvement. Watching back the video now, I can obviously see how much progress there was, but when you're grinding day by day, sometimes it's hard to see how much progress you have since you can only really compare yourself to what you remember. Now that I was seeing myself fighting the exact same person and doing better, I could really feel how far I'd come. Now, it was time for me to put everything to the test and play the PlayStation Cup. Let's just say that it didn't exactly go well. This is the only footage I have of the entire cup because I sent this video to my friend. Um, I'm never playing on this shit ever again. I actually respect anyone who plays on a console so much now because that is the most horrible thing I have ever felt. Anything I learned on controller went completely out the window as soon as I touched that thing. There's more delay on the PS5 than my 85 year old grandpa's reflexes. I'm happy to see my progress on controller, but even happier to report that I've returned the PS5 for the full price and will never be touching one again. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. The long outro is bye.